Hi guys, this is Lena Parwani and welcome you back in my show. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for giving me your time. And I always say the time is money. And if you're investing this little time on me, I want to make sure it is worth it for you. And those who are watching me for first time, I address the money matter, life insurance and group health insurance related matters to you on my videos. So I'm going to share with you in today's episode that these several scenarios where the opportunity lies in the lower interest rate. What happens when the interest rates are lower? Spendings are more because people can borrow more money and spend more money when interest rates go down. You can also borrow premium. Well, we'll talk about that in the future future episodes. Today, we're talking about many opportunities within lower interest rates. What is LIBOR? LIBOR is London Interbank Offering Rate. This become a global benchmark also uh, in terms of borrowing. So when you see the banks are charging you LIBOR plus spread. So LIBOR is basically their own costing to a lending to somebody else, right? So this is interbank lending, which is LIBOR which you can see it has gone down so low in the history. We are currently paying like 0.16 uh, monthly basis. Well, we are talking today the lower interest rate, how they are impacting on your business and where you can have potential savings coming from. Number one, SME loans. What happened to SME loans? SME loans are actually not uh, very correlated with the federal rate cut. They don't benefit from the federal rate cut because the rates are already set. Uh, usually 2 to 3% higher than a normal loan. They can relatively take more loans now to expand their business because it is not as high as it is supposed to be with the, with the higher life or personal loans. Again, this is also a category where they don't benefit a lot from the federal interest rate cut uh, because their rate is actually fixed for the whole 10 year, 10 year, 15 year, 20 years. So they don't get benefit. But I would say that have a look on your personal financial. If it has been improved, why don't you do a consolidation of your existing personal loan and take another personal loan with the current lowest interest rate, which is going to give you significant savings. Credit cards. Credit card companies usually charge variables, but then looking at the current scenarios, yes, they are all, you can also see the dip in the charges. And there is a great opportunity line here where you can actually transfer your credit from to one card to another because you can you can see more attractive offers coming from the different bank on the transferring funds and that's a that's a good opportunity to make sure you have a significant saving on that front as well what does it also means if you are planning to make an entire payment of your credit card this could be a best time to negotiate with the bank and pay off everything in this scenario so have a little bit less load on your pocket by taking the advantage of current scenarios auto loans if your business has borrowed money for auto loan you can see a dip into your monthly installment probably not a lot because you're still on a variable interest rate it is not directly linked to your LIBOR and spread but if you are been planning to take new auto mortgage auto loans then that could be that is the prudent time to take that new auto loans and take advantage of a negotiation on the automobiles as well. You will see more and more deals coming in because the automobile manufacturer are also borrowing money from the bank and their lending rate is also down. Their manufacturing costs has gone down equally. That's where they're open for more negotiation and they're open for more deals on the auto mortgage. If you have a mortgage taken when the interest rate was very high, then this is the time to think about refinancing those mortgages. This can translate into the significant savings over the course of period when you have a mortgage for. That also shows that you can have a more cash flow in your businesses, which can be utilized for different purposes when you're paying the less interest rate towards mortgages. So what does it all mean to you? The lower interest rate comes with a lot of opportunities on your side where you can actually borrow a lot more and and expose yourself and to expand your businesses, have a less expenses toward the interest rate. But at the same time, do not forget to check your credit score. Do not go overboard in terms of borrowing and do not 
get exposed to uh, over debts. When interest rates are low, it is also easy to slip into the compromised financial situations. Businesses, those who are rich, who are growing on their own cash, their own assets are higher, they, they, are, they are cash rich, they have a sustainability toward the business anyways, versus the, those who borrow a lot from the market. You don't want all your cash to be tied up into the debt servicing. So play safe while taking the advantage of the low interest rate. Hope you like this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave me your feedback, which is important to me, which encourages me to continue to bring you the content which you might want to see. I'll be soon addressing premium financing when the interest rates are low. How does that work? If you already have a policy on a premium finance, it has a major impact on that too. Plus, if you are planning, that's a good time too. We'll address that in the coming days. Thank you.